Thanks very much, Gary, and to the committee and to CB6, and really to everybody in the room that has done so much to accelerate through the, uh, the CAG and other processes, the conversation, the dialogue about CSO improvements. I think where we are compared to where we were a couple of years ago is so dramatically improved uh, in the broad conversation about how the canal is going to get cleaned up, and lots of the folks in the room are, uh, have the, are the ones who have, have gotten us here. So thank you for that, and thank you for these couple of minutes. Um, and I'm especially excited that in addition to the super fun conversation about the dredging of the sediment, that that conversation about improving water quality and reducing CSOs uh, has really been accelerated and is much more live uh, in the neighborhood. Uh, but it also has gotten me thinking, and that's sort of the reason for this letter and the reason that I want to uh, ask the community board to consider joining me in a what I think is a pretty modest step I'm taking, but I, I guess I want you to take a look at it. So I've, I've got a letter that people can be perusing that if you don't have, Catherine can get you to raise your hand and she'll come around and, and hand it out. Um, what I realized, and I know I've talked with some of you about this as well, is that the different processes that we have for cleaning different pieces of the canal. I mean, to us, there's the canal and the sediment, which is toxic, and the water quality, which is polluted, and the land around it, which is leaching toxins in, and the bulkheads, and the shoreline. It's one canal, we're one community, and we want one comprehensive and coordinated cleanup. Now, the regulatory framework of environmental issues doesn't exactly work like that. Uh, and so the Superfund, as people know, specifically covers the sediment. Um, and CSOs are related to that because some of the CSOs uh, wind up in the sediment. And so, but there's lots of broader issues of water quality and getting to a cleaner canal that aren't necessarily directly connected. And what I've learned recently, partly because DEP has been starting to give some of the conversations that they're having here, is that the, the process under the Clean Water Act uh, that the city's got responsibility for with state oversight uh, for what's called our long-term control plan to improve water quality in the canal doesn't come to a sort of decision point until 2015 after there's already supposed to be a Superfund remedy decided on. And that got me thinking we would be a lot better off if the processes for canal cleanup could be better coordinated. Not change, not changing who has regulatory oversight and authority, Super EPA's got Superfund responsibility, the city with the EC oversight has long-term control plan, the state under the voluntary cleanup plan is responsible for overseeing the manufactured gas plant cleanup. Let's get those things coordinated so that we've got a thoughtful timeline for achieving a coordinated cleanup. So it's not any, that's not like some kind of you know groundbreaking, but I want to, I'd like, I, I'm nervous that if that doesn't happen, there'll be sort of two things. One, we might wind up with the cart before the horse. Decisions about Superfund have to be made before all the information is available and decisions are getting made about the long-term control plan. And so the conversation about the CSOs gets split. And over here we're talking about the connection to the sediment and over here we're talking about water quality. Let's get those conversations aligned so we can learn about them and think about them together and we don't have sort of cart before the horse. And in addition, let's try to have some way to be thinking about the canal holistically. So again, it's not here we're thinking about the sediment, here we're thinking about the water quality, here we're thinking about uh, the sites that are leaching toxins into the canal, oh and yeah, what about the, the bulkheads and shoreline, but at least as best possible, given that we do have three levels of government and different regulatory agencies, let's get this coordinated as much as we can. The, main, the first thing that means is calling on DEP, who you'll be hearing from in a minute, to accelerate that long-term control plan. So we're not waiting till 2015 to have that information. Let's speed up the long-term control plan. I know there's a lot to do, and I'm sure there'll be lots of reasons why it takes three years, but to me it feels a little bit like those conversations between Captain Kirk and Scotty, where he says, Captain, it'll take three years to fix the engine. So let's push and see if we can't get the long-term control plan moving faster. And then let's ask all three agencies to work together so that all three processes aren't changed. Superfund's still Superfund, Long-Term Control Plan's still Long-Term Control Plan, DEC Voluntary Cleanup is still. But they're well coordinated together and thoughtfully sequenced so we get the best cleanup we possibly can um, at all levels. 